Are you an early bird or a night owl? Or do you fall somewhere in between? What makes someone a morning person or not? What determines whether someone's able to roll out of bed on their first alarm or whether they need seven just to be safe? How does this behavior affect our productivity, our ability to focus and make decisions, our creativity, and our immunity? Sleep chronotypes define each of our natural inclinations to sleep and wake during a 24-hour period. This idea was initially confirmed by Russian scientists in 2015, but was later coined by sleep researcher and author Dr. Michael Bruce a year later. In his book, The Power of One, he discusses the effects of sleep chronotypes on our routines. You can learn more about your sleep chronotypes by taking his quiz. Each and every one of us has an internal biological clock ticking away inside of our brains. This clock, also known as our circadian rhythm, gives our brain a signal of when to release hormones to keep us awake and alert, and when to suppress these hormones to promote sleepiness. Here we see a night owl in her natural habitat. How does this affect her in her daily routine? Night owls, commonly referred to as wolves in the world of sleep chronotypes, make up about 15 to 20% of the population. They tend to sleep and wake up later than others and are likely more tired at the start of the day. At the other end of the spectrum, we have lions. These early birds tend to wake up earlier than most people and make up 15 to 20% of the population as well. Like the animal, bears sleep and wake according to the sun. While these humans are most energetic during the day, they have no trouble falling asleep at night. Their peak productivity occurs in the mid-morning and dips during mid-afternoon. Bears make up the majority of the population at 50%. Light sleepers who have difficulty following a regular sleep routine are referred to as dolphins. 10% of the population with this chronotype wake more frequently from sleeping due to nightmares. They experience peak productivity in the mid-morning and early afternoon. So what's your sleep chronotype? These chronotypes are critical in making us act in the ways that we do. Some of us are naturally inclined to being more productive upon opening our eyes, while others are able to work most effectively at midnight hours. This isn't a matter of individuals being less productive than others, but being productive at different times during the day. Dr. Michael Bruce suggests that our chronotypes can determine what time of day it's best for us to do many things, including exercising, eating, napping, and even when it's best to be creative. If you feel like you display aspects of many different chronotypes, remember that these are just generalizations that sleep researchers noticed about the different sleep patterns. It's important to recognize our sleeping chronotypes to help us adjust our daily routines to accommodate these needs. In fact, research has found that sleep deprivation is detrimental for all populations. But it can be challenging to incorporate a full night's rest in our busy lives. Additional research has found that napping can benefit everyone, but we need to determine the time of day that napping is most effective for us. It's important to prioritize sleeping as something our bodies need. Calming your mind and body through meditation and relaxation techniques can help optimize your midday naps and also improve your sleep routine. While each chronotype is encouraged to sleep at the time that's best for their body, everyone is encouraged to meet the same sleep guidelines for their specific age categories. Based on a study conducted by the National Sleep Foundation, these recommendations for healthy populations without sleep disorders are as follows. Please speak to a healthcare professional if you feel like you're having trouble getting enough hours of good quality sleep. In summary, four chronotypes. Though they tell us a lot about ourselves, they are a generalization of the tendencies displayed by a majority of the human population. 